Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, as you can see, we're using a Chevette. Anyhow, um, so let's go ahead and let's get on to the shade. Or get on to what I'm using. The Chevette I'm going to be using is my Black Barber's Magic Chevette, which can be purchased at Sally's Beauty Supplies. Um, where else? Don't know. It's plastic scales or handle, plastic tail. And then the rest is all metal. And it's kind you just push it out. Oop, like so. And you put the blade in. And it's a half perma sharp. On its first use. That's for at least the first pass. Any, if I have to switch over to a DE, it will be my E2 Gillette Fat Boyer 1959 195 adjustable. The soap is one, or the brush, is one that you saw in a previous video. I haven't used it. Well, I did use it once. I tried recording a Father's Day shave, but for some reason, um, it wasn't saved to my computer. After I had sat down and edited it and got it all the way I wanted, it would not save to my computer for me to upload to YouTube. So, um, this will actually be the second time I've used this brush. And it is this one the PAA um, solar flare with the 24 millimeter white nexus nut. Um, the handle design is based off of an Erskine 250E. And those are about 15 bucks at Phoenix Shaving. The soap is one I don't think I've used on the channel before. And it was a gift. You know who you are when you see the soap. So. Captain or Soap Commander's Charisma. It is a melon and citrus scent. I pick up more of the melon. Um, maybe the citrus in the background, but to my nose, it's very melon forward. I figured that'd be a good soap to use considering it's getting flipping hot. Anyways, so let's go ahead, let's get the brush wet and load it up. The last video I did, the Straight Razor Odyssey, I did that about 30 minutes ago um, as far as recording it. So, um, tomorrow I'll set down and I'll edit out both these videos and get them uploaded. Soap Commander is a pretty firm soap. You gotta push pretty, push pretty hard to uh, make a dent. And it's pretty much a new tub. Kind of forgot all about this one and the other one. The other one is, I think it's called gusto and it's like a um, raspberry lemonade scent really nice scent but i just really want to use this melon scent tonight yeah that's a good load right there let me wet the face I have four new subscribers to announce, so I'll be doing that um, probably in the post. Let me dry my hands here. On my shave by hand, white shaving towel. is a very pleasant summer scent. Probably, I don't know, around medium. About mid-medium as far as the scent strength goes. At least in my opinion. It 
this white nexus knot feels really really nice on the face Since I'm using a Chevette, I'll go ahead and a thinner lather. Here we go. Dang it, I got soap on my hands again. So. I need to start bringing in a small towel for when I get that straight razor to set my, especially if I'm using a Chevette, definitely when I'm using that straight for, uh, for setting it where it's not on my tray with my brush and myself and all that. All right, guys, here we go. I don't feel I need to stretch the skin on my neck area because my skin is pretty tight in that area. Oh, almost got myself, but I did it! Switch hands for this side. Not bad. Yeah, it's been months since I went ahead and used the Chevette. Um, last time I really used one, I tried like a dumbass. This is part of my language. I tried to uh, do a Chevette head shave. Whew. Yeah, it was not pretty. Almost got myself. There we go. But, um, yeah, that fish of that just butchered my head. 
not all over but just like right here and right here i just had these two long marks where i just took off skin and i bled good I need to go ahead and set with my doctor to send me to a neurologist or something. I went years ago because my hands have always shook. Oh, I already hit that side. And um, you told me, oh, you just drink a lot of coffee and you smoke and hang on, guys. And he kind of chalked it up to that. Told him one day, Doc, I mean, he didn't even run any tests and I just got discouraged. But um, I told him, I said, you know, Doc, one day I hope I quit smoking, which I haven't smoked a cigarette in since, what, 2009? I said, I plan on quitting smoking one day. Um, but uh, as far as my coffee goes, You think I'm gonna quit drinking coffee? Yeah, you're darn gourd. Um, he was Hindi, so I don't think he kind of understood the <laughs> reference because he just kind of looked at me like, uh huh. And if he did get, and if he did know the reference, and understood it he was probably looking at me like how could you say that <laughs> it was just he was just kind of had a look of shock on his face when i said it i don't think he was quite expecting that okay now i got some pretty rough shaves out of that chevette before so um and I think it was just because I was rushing it. That's why I backed away for a while. So the rest of the pet, the second, third pass is going to be with the Fat Boy on setting nine. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting that weight and butcher and getting a strop and all that good stuff. As you know though, I definitely want a three inch strop, whether it's a paddle strop or a hanging strop, because I don't want to try the XY pattern and go too far and the razor slip off the strop, you know, so.
but if I do, oh, got my nose. If I do end up going with a hanging strap. thinking about going with a Razor Emporium 3 inch wide russet horse hide strop. So one moment. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope the heat's not too brutal for you guys. Um, Johan, if you're watching, you know, I want to take a little trip. Next week is supposed to be over 100 degrees, low hundreds to the teens in the hundreds, 110, 12. 13 14 degrees so you know if you want come on over man we'll have a scotch together which would be cool as hell sitting down having a scotch with with johan but i'd be afraid in 113 degree weather i'd be afraid that even with my central air going I'm afraid that he would just melt away. Um, Cause his part of the world, mm, no, they don't get like they do here. In their temperatures. I commented to him when he said it was like 25 degrees, of course that's Celsius where he lives and that was like 70 something degrees. I converted my temperature of the day over to Celsius and told him he is like, I would absolutely melt in that heat. I have never been in that kind of heat in my life. And um, I have to admit for a moment I was jealous but, like I told him, I'm melting the bloody stuff myself. We'll go ahead and we'll just go down under the nose. Well, if you're a wrestling fan, the end of an era is over. Mark Calloway, aka The Undertaker, has retired. After 30 years in the WWE. And people that like to say, ah, oh, wrestling's all fake, it's staged. It, yeah, it is all staged and everything, but God, those guys beat their bodies up. Um, you know? Mark Calloway that played, did the, that was the, who is the Undertaker. One moment. But yeah, he's broken pretty much all of his fingers. Had both orbital sockets of his eyes fractured. Um, yeah, all his fingers. He's had to have his hips replaced. Not bad. Not bad on the own. 
Um, it's biting a little. Not bad, though. I mean, he's wrestled with a busted foot, wrestled in severe pain, I mean, and all that is attributed to pro wrestling. So all I can say for those guys in that ring, they're men and women, is, man, they put themselves through a lot for our entertainment. Anyways, so that's the shape. I'm going to go ahead and let this set for a minute and then rinse it off. And then I'll be back for the post and to also mention the new subscribers. I'm all clean in here. Nice and baby butt smooth. Good on my upper lip. Chin nice. Neck great. Down in the ditch and eh, missed a little. That's fine. My head not perfectly smooth, but I'll take it because I've got some weird outbreak of acne on the back of my head. Um, hat for a bit though, so it's getting better. If it keeps getting worse, then if it comes back again, then I'll ask my doctor what it is. Who knows? Maybe it's dermatitis of some kind. I don't know. I'm not a skin doctor, so. Anyways, got my handy, dandy Victor Reader. We're going to go ahead and see who's the new subscribers. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and cut off the boot, you know, cut out the time of it booting up and all that. So the new subscribers are in this first one. For me, it's a mouthful. So if I mess up your name, please do not be offended. But um, I'm probably going to mess it up. And that is, one moment, Vinhas Tintava Hinkilo. If that's not how you pronounce your name, I apologize, but welcome to the channel. Next is DK Damn Fine Sh Shaves. Welcome very much to the channel, DK. I appreciate your support. Another YouTuber, Greg Bear, also known as the Barely Normal Wet Shaver. And finally, these are two words that I never would have thought I would be saying on my channel. But, well, I'm going to do it and because it's his YouTube, their YouTube handle. Um, that's what they choose. That's what they're going to be called. And finally, a big warm welcome to the channel for these nuts. Anyways, welcome everybody. Um, all four of you guys. Uh, I know at least two of you have some straight razor um, knowledge. So, you know. And other types of shaving knowledge so you know what welcome to the channel if you ever feel like sharing something in the comments feel free anyhow so let's move on to the post almost to the end guys the T Dickinson's witch hazel had a second bottle backup bottle setting up there for what, a couple of months now? I hope wherever you're living it hasn't been getting too awfully hot. Next is Gillette Aftershave Gel. Kind of nice and feels nice on a hot day. Scent is good. I like it. And just rub the excess on the arms.
There we go. Made to put the moisture back in. Can always use extra moisture in the arms. So, and finally, since that's a melon and citrus scent. Oh, by the way, real quick, the Chevette did great. Um, didn't cut myself. That was a plus. The fat boy never, never fails to deliver. Um, did my head on setting nine. Did the cross the grain and against the grain on setting nine with a Wilkinson sword, a Wilkinson sword, a Gillette Wilkinson sword saloon blade. The Chevette had a perma sharp. The brush, solar flare, absolutely great brush with that white nexus knot. Very happy to have it in the den. And the soap. Um, integrity, I think. Oh gosh, I probably mess it up. But it'll be in the... I mentioned it at the beginning and I'll put it down in the um, title. But Soap Commander. Integrity, I believe. And the aftershave is Maggart's Orange Menthol. Nice... Nice citrusy scent. Just got a little bit of burn at first and then it cools down. I do know that the maker of the Maggart soaps and Maggart aftershaves is Maria Armin of Through the Fire Pine Crowd. I once tried a sample of her London barber shop and man, that soap was just excellent. Anyways, oh, nice and cooling. I like that. Anyways, so that's the shave, guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, likes, comments, subscriptions. Always appreciate it. I love interacting with you guys. Um, I'm not always prompt on getting back to somebody that comments to me, but I try. Anyways, um, so yeah, y'all take it easy. Try not to get too hot. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.